on board here, board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> Um, explain to me again why you, you're here, and how did you get here? Um, uh, <clears throat> you see, I'm here to train your son. I feel like he could be a great hero in the future, so might as well get his training done and, you know, make sure that he... Uh, can be a hero. Okay, but... That doesn't explain why you're here. How, at least how you got here. Or, why were you in my son's room? Uh, <clears throat> well, uh, he wanted to be surprised, right, Izuku? Is that true? Yes. Are you sure? Because you seem very upset when you came back home from school today. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I'm fine. I'm just. It's um. You see, midnight here. Uh, and she saved me. In which, yeah. I thought you said it was All Might. I was with All Might. And, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Things didn't go according to plan. Things happened. So, yeah. Seeing as though he has a hero spirit, so to speak, I might as well train him. Uh, all Might would have, but. You know, being the number one hero and all, he's busy, he has other, uh, you know, things to do. Oh. Um. Okay. Well, next time, would you mind using the front door and remember to knock? And also, during the daytime, uh, yeah, 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 it, it, it's fine, yeah, of course. Okay, so, you can go home now. Uh, yeah. Now, please. Right, 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 right. Um, well, uh, talk to you later, young Midoriya. Is yes, this is when Midnight leaves. Hey, Izuku is, I uh, just look at Inko, I was like, are you sure I should have called the police? It, it, yes. Are, are you sure? Because quirks get weird. And uh, follow me on, it might not be midnight. Trust me, Mom, it, it is. It's we have a flashback. In which Izuku was having a very interesting dream. One that you would expect as someone who's going through puberty as well as getting to know certain aspects of life. But weird, considering it's Izuku of all people. Him waking up to find out that someone was in the bed with him. Him looking on the covers and him seeing a succubus. Her not expecting him to be awake, but decides to roll with it. And tries to seduce him. The only thing is, it doesn't work with Izuku. He's more embarrassed than anything. Trying to tell her to pretty much cover herself. And yeah, her realizing, wait, so you're not, she sees him blushing. He sees, 
that uh, he's more embarrassed than aroused. If anything, you're you're really innocent, aren't you? What? what? You're innocent as all hell, aren't you? Uh, that depends. Did I commit? Uh, you no know, crime or anything, or did you think or say I did? Or... <sighs> Not that kind of innocent. Her creeping closer towards Zigu, Zigu getting more and more uncomfortable. Yep, you are way too innocent. All I can say is challenge accepted. As she leaves upon Izuku, and Izuku is yelling in fear. It says, wait! Please stop screaming. Why are you so scared? I don't know you. Uh, I don't even know what you're trying to do to me. Really? Really? You see what I have on, don't don't you? Yeah. You see the wings. Uh huh. The horns. Yeah. The tail. Uh huh. You don't know what I am, do you? No. Should I? Is that relevant to the situation? Yes. Kinda. How are you with this dense and this innocent? This is... As then Inko shows up. As yes, the succubus has no choice. My uh, option is pretty much poof back into her human form. Midnight? <laughs> as yes, now we fast forward. To the point where Izuku is talking to Midnight <laughs> from his window as she declares that not only is she going to train him to be a, a strong hero, possibly number one, but she is going to make him fall in love with her and break that innocent salmon roll shell of his. Uh, Izuku... He's excited for the training, but also, what she mean by break him? As Ziku does start to, the next day as you can imagine, look up more information about Succubi. Him realizing, oh, that's what she was going to do. That's what she would have done. Wait, so my first time would have been with Midnight? As you can just see, he turns completely red as a tomato. So red that, yeah. You could say if he was in the grocery store, someone would have mistaken him for a tomato. And it go pretty much like, are you sure you want to do this? Yes, yes, I'm, I'm positive. Though he is very cautious, wondering, like, okay, knowing what Succubi are known for doing to men like me, at least men in general, I should wear something more conservative. Is yes, he's a goof. He also goes online and searches for a chastity belt just to be safe. Inko, even more suspicious of what the hell, why would you need one of these? Uh, costume? Bullshit! <laughs> uh, Mom, did you just... <clears throat> I care for your safety, that's all. And saying that you need a chassis belt of all things? 
Let's just say I I don't buy it. You're gonna be with a top hero, right? That was actually midnight, right? Doorbell rings, midnight appears, ages are good. Let's see how this goes. Ego waving goodbye, holding back her tears, wondering, what have I done? Did I just allow my son to spend time with one of the most perverse and hell heroes I have ever seen in media? As then Ego starts to run away in his bed. Wait, her quirk is... No! And before she could even think about going to the door and stopping them, they're already gone. Izuku, he finds himself in a very unfamiliar location, in which... Is this how I die? No. At least not yet. What? So you were trying to kill me? Yes. But to be fair, you would have died with a smile on your face. So. You were going to assault me. Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, you usually... Maybe will kill to be in your position. Uh, as a matter of fact, some have. Oof. So, the pro hero Midnight, the RA hero Midnight, is actually yeah, I'm a, yeah, a Sahibus. Well, I'm not the only one, but you know. I don't know what's even more, more shocking, the fact that monsters are real, or that you are one, or that you're actually going to train me. Did you forget what I said I was going to do? Yeah, train me to become a strong, great hero, right? Her having an evil smile on her face as she walks closer to Izuku, grabs her by... He just call her and touches his chin. I said it. I was going to make you fall in love with me. And when I do. Yeah, it'll be a best night of your life. Good to know. So, I. Whew. Now that's, uh, that's done. What was first one on my, my training re regimen? Hmm. If anything, you're very scrawny. You know, if I did end up jumping your bones last night, chances are you wouldn't have lasted long and most likely have died hella quick. Huh? You need some more muscle mass. R really? You really think? Yes, you have chicken legs. Oh. Yeah, I may sound rude, but you do. So, that's one thing you need to fix. Here, we're in the underworld. Or also known as the demon realm. Really? Oh yeah. If anything, time passes differently here. So, what may seem like hours could have been mere seconds. I say a day here would be like more of an hour? What? Oh yeah. 
everything. Hmm. I don't want anyone else knowing about you. Because uh, that could pose to have its own set of problems. Like what? <laughs> well, I'm not the only sucky this around. Huh? Let's just say if someone else gets a hold of you, chances are your innocent nature ain't gonna save you. What? I'm a high ranking succubus. But even I have limits, and as well as people stronger than me when it comes to seduction and so on. What? <sighs> Suck you by. I'm gonna be sniffing around over here unless we get you some protection. Him just flushing the chest email like. She has it to midnight. She breaks it in half and starts tearing it to pieces. You see, you can hear and see the metal being twisted, torn, as if it was nothing but paper. So, what you're saying is, oh, yes, this, this would protect you from them. This would just make them want to get in there even more. They like you and they're pretty place hard to get. What about running? <laughs> you think you can outrun one of us? You can't overpower us. You can't outrun us. If anything, your instant nature, at least so far, makes you immune to our charms somehow. I've never met someone so dense and innocent in my life. So this is going to be a whole new experience for me as well. Oh. Okay. That's good to know. Don't get me wrong. I'm still after you, so to speak. I'm just going to train you first. How? Well, first things first, give me 20 push ups. Huh? You heard me? As yes. Izuku pretty much sees like, wow, she's actually serious about training me. As his hellish training, so to speak, goes underway. Just like Midnight said, he has practically no muscle mass to really speak of. Luckily, he gets those sweet, sweet newbie gains. In which, oh yes. Luckily, days, you know, hours and whatnot. Not only do you have time to rest, but he also has time to fix up his whole workout routine and schedule. Well, Midnight tries her best to mold him into a good hero and pretty much provoke him and as well as stirring those primal urges. It doesn't really work with Izuku. Let's say the point where she's getting frustrated as all hell. They're like, you do not find me attractive at all, do you? Of course I do. You're midnight. <sighs> That's not what I meant. You don't find me sexy at all. Well, I, well, I don't have much reference to go off of. So, 
Really? Are you saying you have no real experience with girls at all? No. She want you even more. In fact, here. Her grabbing him by the neck, him fearing for his life, and she gives him a kiss on the cheek. He's a good feeling warm and fuzzy, but also like, wait, why did you? Eh, just a protective seal. If I think that will make it even harder for demons to recognize, well, that you're human. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, people who are stronger than me will be able to see right through it, even break protective seal. <laughs> but as long as we stay here on the outskirts and don't draw too much attention to ourselves, you'll be fine. Huh. That's, that's good, good to know, I, I suppose. Oh yeah, believe me. Sucky body can get thirsty as hell. Ugh. Like I remember this one time. It was a complete, I don't really want to say bloodbath. It's more like uh, the other Let's just say it was uh, a flurry. It snows down here? Yes. Yes. But not that kind of, not that kind of snow. <clears throat> Either way. As long as you stick by me and we stay out of trouble, you don't have to worry about anyone taking that V-card from you. But me. Okay. Don't be scared. Yeah. If anything, I'll protect you and I'll uh, lessen my advances to an extent. Oh. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, whatever. But just don't forget, I'm a succubus too. Right. I mean, don't, don't, don't tempt me at all. Okay. Wait, how would I actually know if I'm tempting you? Will you feel like you're being hunted? Can I elaborate? As just a wave of lust just envelops Izuku, him falling to his knees, blushing. He notices, wait, why are you drooling? Midnight? That's what I mean. Oh. So. That's, yeah. Finally, I'm surprised you're still awake. You must have a strong will. Really? Yeah. If anything, most men would just passed out. Or if not, they would have just lunged at me, being overtaken by so much lust. Huh. That's crazy. And yes, for Izuku, it's been a month right now. So, <laughs> 30 days, 30 hours, in all. Inko, she is worried about the fact that he does spend a lot of time with Midnight, especially knowing Midnight's reputation, 
But he assures her that nothing uncouth has ha happened. But he does know he, he and his chastity are in constant danger when he's around midnight. He has gotten more used to seeing her in her true form. In which he can... He has told her she does not have to look like midnight. But she assures him that this is the only way, just in case, you know it's me. What, what do you mean? Though Succubi can look different or differentiate from each other, it's... Uh, we do have a main template when it comes to, you know... Oh. Hmm. So, you may be different, but you'll look similar to enough that if I'm not careful, I can mistake you for a different one? Yes. And believe me, you know I'm going to let happen. Another succubus at my rank will drain you dry. Just as I could have if I didn't. Ugh. I want to buy with foreplay, damn it. I mean, how you are. You're generally not supposed to wake up until I was all set, but uh, things happen, so here we are now. Okay, so I'm sorry to forget it. Yeah, you almost. Yeah, that's in the past. Let it go. Anything, just be grateful. I decided to stick around. But remember, we see midnight. It could be me. But one thing for sure. I'll flash my eyes. What do you mean? Now, I'll, I'll shift from midnight's eyes, see, to my succubi eyes, in which, when you call to me, yeah, you'll know it's actually me. But, if I don't do that, remember, if I don't, at natural. But I'm a fanboy. Uh. Oh my. That's right. You're going to stop that. What? what? You cannot be a fanboy. You cannot be your innocent, adorable self in front of other succubi. Huh? Why not? Wait, so you want me to not be myself? How, how does that work? I am saying this for your own good. Okay? Because your cinnamon roll innocent nature is more than just a turn on. Huh? It's kind of like, not only a challenge, considering how innocent you are, but it's also a real effort easy act for us. Uh, so that's why you were... Uh, <sighs> okay, allow me to explain. If anything, I did pick up on uh, your specific signature, you could say, your smell, I'm not gonna lie. The thing is, before I knew it, I was doing my, you know, my, my thing. I just, I just... <sighs> so you could've... Yep. All because your cinnamon roll, adorable, Innocent personality 
draws us in once we catch a whiff of you. We love to corrupt the innocent, the pure hearted, and boy, you are a spitting image of it. Um, thank you? Well, believe me, it is a compliment. The only thing is, that compliment get in the you being drained of life force, and you're okay, okay, I get it. So, I just have to be very, very, very careful now. Yep. Whenever I do our sessions in here, you may notice some changes. What do you mean? How should I explain it? Ah! You'll be able to see demons. What? Oh, yeah. I'll really see them easier. You know. But, but if I see you, is you know, it's midnight. And, uh, yeah, but not everyone wants to be so subtle. You see, thanks to quirks, especially mutant quirks, we can look however the hell we want. And, yeah. yeah. We either frame a guy, we could also pretend to be that person, you know, just. We can take it to you whichever form we want. Huh. That's. interesting. Uh, yeah. Anything. You just gotta make sure that you follow my instructions so I can uphold my end of the deal. If anything, I want to earn your love. Uh, really? <laughs> Looks like I got you. Hmm? You're blushing. Well, yeah, I, I, you see, that, that doesn't mean I had some, that has something to do with you, per se. I mean, that just means I'm, uh, I'm embarrassed, or it's, it's a little toasty. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Of course. Whatever helps you sleep at night. Thank you. Wait, wait, what is that supposed to mean? He's a good, pretty much, like... Are, are you trying to hurt my feelings? No, I'm trying to train you so you can stay alive for long enough for you to ripen until I pluck the fruit. Huh? Oh, let's just say I am going to ruin you soon. You're right for the picking. When do you expect me to be? Oh, I really don't want to spoil the surprise. Okay. I, I guess I'm not terrified. Really? No. And I guess I need to try harder, don't I? No, please, for the love of God, don't try harder. Why? Why not? Because it's bad enough I know my chances are using a stake. Don't get me wrong, you are a very lovely and everything, but... Huh. Well, if I told you I didn't have to kill you for... The, wait, what? Oh, no. Heck, I don't always kill my victims. Huh? You do know one of our powers is shape-shifting, though, right? 
that could turn into whatever is your kink or anything, right? What? Yep. What? what? Wanna see? Sure. Okay, think of someone you wouldn't mind, uh, you know, getting down and dirty with. As then she gets his. He starts reading his mind and then transforms. Only thing is, uh, it didn't work. What? Wait, what are you talking about? It didn't work. Uh, hold on. She gets a mirror and she's that uh, she is the exact same. Try again. Uh, okay. Reads mine. Transformed. This time she does transform, but into her human disguise as Midnight. Uh, this. I, uh, uh, what? I, I don't understand. What do you mean? I, so it did work the first time. What? Nothing, nothing. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, wait, back to training. As Jesse Zuku continues his muscle building, well, Midnight is pretty much like. He had no other preferences besides me. Me. He was perfectly fine with me how I am. I. Uh, don't know how to, uh, what to really do with that, uh, and she realizes, wait a minute, wait a minute, no, no, he's supposed to fall for me, I am not supposed to fall for him, that is some backwards, not supposed to happen, nonsense, but it is very sweet that he actually does like me as I am. But seriously, I'm supposed to reveal the desires of anyone who I see as a target. Hmm. But it really was nice that he... he yeah. What am I doing? Like, this is a mistake to begin with. I should have never agreed to this. As yes, it is nearing the end of the ten months of training. And Izuku, he's jacked. He's learned not only how to fight, especially considering that, you know, Sukubai are no real pushovers when it comes to kicking someone's ass, but he's also learned a bit of magic. When it comes to magic that he does learn, it's actually enhancement and healing. He, she did offer him other forms of magic, but he's like, no, this is all I need. I'm really going to work on this magic. Who knows, maybe I can even save someone from death. Okay. Um, great. <sighs> so, I guess this is it. You're done with training. Hmm. I mean, we have like one month. Maybe you want to stay some more? No, I think I have everything I need. Hmm. Okay. <gasps> what was it? I know one thing that I didn't teach you. What's that? <laughs> Do you trust me? No. Smart. But I'm going to teach you anyway.
Woods, what are you going to teach me? Uh, the secret art of seduction. Huh? You heard me. So this is going to be very fun for me. Excuse me? As the face is black, and as you can imagine, Maisie becomes home. He's different ish. Well, because of his demeanor and everything, that doesn't change, but it girl can tell he's been through the ringer, so to speak. Well, I mean, he's exhausted. He has bruises. He has cuts. He's. He looks like he's been in one hell of a fight. But one thing Ingo actually does notice that like, she gets a closer look at those bruises. Those are hickeys. So, yeah, you can just imagine she's pissed. As who, hell, what mother wouldn't be if their teenage son was spending a lot of time with an older woman. So yeah, she confronts him about this. Him like, it's nothing, nothing at all, nothing happened. Are you sure? Because I'm, because she, you are covered in love marks. What's that? Hickeys. So someone's been uh, going at you. Wait, as she sees the trail of Hickey's, not just around his face or neck, take off your shirt. What? Do it! As he does, he, as she sees even more of them. He was wearing a long sleeve shirt, and he is covered all throughout his torso, his arms, face, neck. She sees another trail going lower. She's like, Oh, that bitch. Huh? Wait, you can... Shut up. The pants. Lose them. What? You heard me. Do it. Oh, you're making me uncomfortable. Do it or else I'm calling the police on midnight. What? Oh yeah, we had cameras in this building. So yeah, that'll corroborate my story. And... Easy to go. Pants are off. He's clean. Not a single mark. Not even one indicating what actually possibly could have happened. So in goes, she's... Okay, maybe I was wrong. Maybe those border bruises, but no, no, can't be. Hmm. Okay, fine. Can I put my pants back on? Yes. And then, at the, in the corner of her eye, she sees something on Zuko's thigh. Like, hold it! What? She sees some writing. Like, oh my God! What? What? What was it? What did she do to you? What? What are you talking about? As the writing was written on Nizuku's thigh in neon. Letters, it seems. Midnight's property. Or, as a less PG way of saying it, Midnight's bitch. <laughs> so yes, Ingo is having a heart attack. Izuku is trying to explain. But how can you explain this? It's then midnight suddenly shows up after knocking on the door and gets tackled by Inko. 
and Ingo is wailing on midnight. Tell her, what have you done to my son, you harpy? You succubus. <laughs> you told her? Huh? No, what you just did. Oh. What? Whoops. Is yes, Ingo, she stands back as the midnight slowly turns into her true form. I really was hoping you didn't find this out. <laughs> and Ingo is unconscious. Izuku's freaking out. Midnight is freaking out, definitely. As they go, oh, oh wait, this can work in our favor. How? My mom is unconscious. Yes! And if you put her in her bed, or, ah, see how late it is? Put her at the kitchen table. When she wakes up, she'll think it was all a dream. Do you really think... Yes. Uh, uh, well, I get what you're saying, but that only happens in TV and movies. Trust me, this will work. I wanted to teach you memory magic, but no, you didn't want to manipulate anyone's memories or anything. Well, of course not. Uh, that would be terrible. Hmm. Tell you what. How about I do it? I make it so she thinks she drifted off, then woke up, and then, you know. Oh. Yeah, actually that yeah, works. But what are you going to do about your brain on my thigh? Oh. Um. Hmm. If anything, I guess I'll have to fix that. Yeah, get rid of it. Are you sure? What do you mean? That's one of the things besides that kiss mark I gave you. That shield you from other succubi. What? Yeah, yeah, I think it was just the case that heck, any succubus could do that. But having it written out that you are mine, you know? Oh. Yeah. Uh, wow. I. Hmm. I. I did not know that. Well, is there a way to shield this for my mom's eyes? Hmm. Makeup? What do you mean? If anything, it needs some darkened conditions. Or least, when someone sees it for the first time in these conditions, then they can see it completely. I did cast a slay illusion, but I didn't make it that powerful because I didn't think it would be like that so it's just just do a more powerful illusion because makeup can wear off so can an illusion depending on how strong the caster is hmm. okay fine whatever just go with the illusion okay uh, yes Izuku Upon re-entering their apartment building, Ego <laughs> Oh, hey, Mom. Where are you? <gasps> Wait! As then she tackles him to the ground, starts looking him up and down. Where are they? Where's what? 
The Higgies, what, what, what happened to them? What? What do you mean? I don't, wait, what's that? Uh. Oh, thank God. You're still my innocent baby boy. Huh? Uh, nothing. I just had all the craziest dreams. <sighs> but it's good to know that it was just a dream. Yeah, Mom, you're kind of worrying me. I'm sorry. I'm just so worried. I don't know what that midnight woman really has you do, but... <sighs> Uh, but, if anything, it's almost time for the interest as I am, though, yeah, you're, you're excited, right? Uh, hmm. yeah, yeah, I, I really am. <sighs> All this training, I can't wait to see it finally pay off and I get to go to UA. I mean, I've been waiting for this for a long time, and finally, <sighs> I'm getting closer to becoming a hero. Hmm. Yes. Yes, you are. And now, it is time for the interest exam, in which, theoretical, is it a B. I, I'm making almost no super genius as of yet. Because of the practical Izuku, he is all the more ready. Because of him being nervous, compared to what he had to go through in the demon realm is a, a, a test. <laughs> easy. Destroy robots? Even easier. Seriously, he has the power. He, if he doesn't, magic. So, as soon as he sees those gates open, he on instinct goes in for the attack and bursting through so many damn robots that's not even funny. Midnight, isn't the observation room just watching? He's like, huh. If anything, I'm very proud of him. How far he's come. What? Oh. I raised that boy. What? Well, to be more specific, I trained him. In what? You see how strong he is? Uh, as All Might is looking. Hmm. Yeah, you did. Interesting. So. Wait. Oh, he looks familiar. Oh yeah, he used uh, that boy that, you know, you saved. Twice. Uh, I was looking for him. Huh? I had something very important to discuss with him. Really? Pray tell what may that have been. Well, you know about my condition. Yes. <gasps> Wait, so you? Yeah. You were gonna... Yep. <laughs> what, what, what's so funny? Oh, you would have been sent either way, but consider your power, oh my, he, he, I think my way probably helped him even more. What do you mean? As then, oh my, really gets a better look at Izuku. Seeing that, compared to the 10 months training in canon, Izuku has had Honestly, God, years worth of training. 
in a demon realm. Remember, one day, one month. So, yeah, that's 10 months. Yes. Yeah, he's going to uh, have some good ass training in, under his belt. Years of experience. Who knows, if he stayed there too long, he would have probably been as old or older than All Might. Think about it. So yeah, because of him using enhancement magic, he can not only enhance himself, but also others. So he rips off a piece of zero pointer. Yes, Nezu put more than one here. And he turns it into an honest of God sword by folding and tearing the metal. He was able to press down on it to make it sharp as hell as he's ripping and tearing the robots, cutting them in half, pieces, turning them into sashimi right now. Sushi, you can say. As everyone is amazed by this, they're wondering, wait, what is his quirk? As people just speculate, yeah, it must be just a simple enhancement. It's not no easy. He ain't got no damn quirk. Not at all. Only thing is, when Izuku does get hurt, he knows that he is healing. They are wondering, wait, is he? Is that? He has healing quirk too? He's a good thing with an air shot says, No, I'm enhancing myself. At least enhancing my healing factor. What? All my hearing this is a... That is no simple enhancement quirk. He can't... He can enhance himself as well as Wait, as he looks at midnight, could you imagine if I gave him, oh yeah, I could, but if anything, why not uh, have him help you? What are you talking about? I'm just saying. You are missing some equipment, aren't you? <gasps> hey, my eyes are up here. <clears throat> That's not what I meant, perv. Uh, oh, right, my respiratory. Yeah. <sighs> Actually, yeah, that, that does make sense. As then, Midnight has a flashback to when she first hears about... All Might's condition and everything. Uh, part of me wishes I healed you a long time ago. But I couldn't risk it being out in the open about me. Let alone how you miraculously healed o overnight. But at least for Izuku here. It'll seem like he just has a very enhanced quirk. Hmm. Hopefully this works out. If it does, great. If it doesn't, damn. We're going to have to reintroduce you two at a later date, however. As yes, as you can imagine. Izuku, he did his thing. He did great in, in the interest of Zamp. Because of someone getting trapped out of Zero Porter? No, no, no. Because of Izuku destroying robots? Yeah, he already surpassed Baku's score. Because of him saving people, that is already something he was bent on doing. What he didn't expect to do is captured the hearts of so many of the participants. Especially because of female persuasion. Yeah. Midnight time seduction. 
she, she just didn't expect him to be that good at it as for a beginner. What I mean by this is pretty much that Izuku, he can't turn off his attractiveness when it comes to that. So, though it seems like he's just being regular old Izuku, when he saves people, it sticks with them for a minute. To the point where they go gaga eyed when he leaves.